Good evening. How many of you here have dogs? Well, today you're going to learn a bit more about them. We, know, we all know that dogs evolved from wolves, but their characteristics have changed a lot. So today let's learn about those characteristics. Let's start with ears. There are many different types of ears and each one is designed for each dog and their purpose. Button ears on burrowing dogs helps keep dirt out of their ears and water dogs drop ears prevents water from entering their ears while swimming. Where shaped ears are slicked back and aerodynamic, which is perfect for any dogs that are bred for running. Now, let's learn about one dog, which their ears don't necessarily help them with hearing. Bloodhounds. Their ears actually help them with smelling. Their ears block out any sounds from the ear canal, helping them focus on their sniffing instead. Their ears also drag on the ground, rustling and starting the smells, wafting them into the air. Tails, they help us figure out how a dog is feeling. If it goes to the left, that means they're angry, scared, maybe even sad. If it goes to the right, that means they're happy, playful, and ready to have some fun. But they help the dogs in many other ways than to just express how they're feeling. They have six to even 23 vertebrae in their tails. Whippets have long and slender tails that improve agility and help them make terms of traveling at high speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. Huskies tails are used as temperature protection. They can curl up and cover their nose and face with their tails. It helps them keep warm in frigid weather. Beagles were bred as a hunting companion, and their fur is colored to camouflage into their hunting environment. The tip of the beagle's tail is white so that their hunting companions can see them while chasing prey. Labrador retrievers were bred to jump into cold water to fetch fish, waterfowl, and fishing nets for fishermen and hunters. Their tails are modeled after otter tails. Their otter-like tails help them steer in water. Fur. Fur and skin are very interesting to learn about. Not only do they help protect them from cuts and scratches and keep them warm, they also serve other purposes. The Afghan hounds have long extravagant coats that help keep them warm. They are originally native to the high and windy hut attitudes of Afghanistan. Commodores have dreadlock-like corded coats that help protect them from sheep bites and help them look like sheep. Poodles are famous for their distinctively clipped and poofy coat. Their poofs over their heads, hips, and legs help keep their joints warm. Sharpay's wrinkles have nothing to do with growing old. They have too much of a molecule called hyaluronin. They have a mutation that make them provide up to 10 times more of what they should have. Hyaluronin is a gel-like substance that grows under the skin, making room for more skin to grow. Ancient Chinese dog fighters used these wrinkles as a self-defense. If one of the Sharpays were to get bitten, then he would be able to turn around and attack the dog that had originally attacked him or her. Now, let's learn about some other breeds and their purposes. Great Danes. Great Danes were bred to hunt wild boar in medieval Germany. When they be were bred to become bigger, they became a canine celebrity. In 1876, it became the National Dog of Germany. By breeding the friendliest Great Danes together, they slowly lost their aggression, but not their size. Bulldogs were bred to attack chained up bulls in an event called bull baiting in 1206. It was believed that the stress made the bull's meat tender. The bulldog's short leg for when the bulldog wanted to sneak under the bull for a surprise attack. Thankfully, when a animal cruelty law was passed in 1835, bull baiting was stopped and the bulldog sadly lost their purpose. But people who really loved these bulldogs bred them to have even shorter legs and smushed in faces, meaning that they can no longer fight today. Now, who wants to hear some fun facts? Did you know that all dogs have 99.5% DNA in common? 
which means that 0.5% is responsible for one dog becoming Great Dane and another Chihuahua. Dogs are the first domesticated animals on Earth, and they come in more shapes and sizes than any other mammal in the world. Thanks for listening, and I hope you learned something new today. Bye!